Thank you, everyone. Um, so while you guys are queuing stuff up, I just I would love to get to know the audience a little bit. So by a show of hands, how many of you are actually in commercial real estate, either a broker or an owner of real estate? That's awesome. Like a year ago, it would have been like three or four hands. So the awareness is just, it's incredible. And then by a show of hands, how many of you are in the technology space? Cool. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. So, um, so the intro kind of gave you a background on who I am and what I do. Um, we're going to show just a very short video on kind of what Hightower does. And it's the vision and mission behind the company. And then I'd like to spend a few minutes just talking about what we're seeing in the industry. Um, and some of the, uh, what I would say, kind of the core drivers of change that I think are going to help us really reimagine commercial real estate over the next two to three years. Um, if the video is ready, we can cue that up. And if it's not, um, I'm happy to. Okay, go ahead. The inspiration for Hightower is that commercial leasing is a business that deserves better tools. I began my career building software experiences for millions of people. And when I joined the commercial real estate industry, I realized we're in an industry without any tools. So we built this team with deep expertise in design and engineering to deliver a platform that's incredibly easy to use and just works. Hightower brings together document management, deal tracking, financial analysis, analytics, all in one really easy to use package. It's your command center for commercial leasing. Design is absolutely such a core part of the way that we work. Our goal has been to build something very clean, intuitive, easy to use, and fast. We realize that using Hightower means it becomes a mission critical part of your business. To that end, we've invested a lot of engineering time in making a very robust, reliable, and secure platform for your information. Commercial real estate is a mobile industry. We're out in the market every single day. And so one of the fundamental premises of Hightower is that your business should come with you, meaning that we put Hightower in your pocket, on your smartphone or your tablet, so that you can get your job done from wherever you happen to be. So if you're on a tour in a building, you get there early, you can use the Hightower mobile app to call up all the details on the deal, review the last proposal that you sent to the tenant, the comment history, how the deal has been progressing, any personal notes you've kept, so that you're prepared when they arrive. When I'm on the tour itself, it's really easy to pull up floor plans, see the other available spaces in this listing that the tenant might be interested in. Then as soon as the tour concludes, instead of trying to keep everything in my head, I can quickly just write an update that my owner and the rest of my team are gonna get right away. From an owner's perspective, they get real-time updates on the most important things happening across their leasing portfolio so that they can act on them, they can make decisions quicker, and they can effectively drive better decisions across their leasing portfolio. I'm excited to see Hightower transform the CRE landscape and to bring some of the great user experiences that we've seen in the consumer world to commercial real estate. We believe that there is an opportunity to reimagine the commercial real estate industry and we intend to be the company that powers that reimagination. So that's Hightower in two minutes. Um, what I thought I'd do is, can we transition over to the slides uh, and give you guys a sense for what we're seeing in the industry now, uh, that Hightower is um, is gaining adoption quite quickly. So uh, as, as I was introduced, we, we're now in four countries. Um, we have over 550 assets now being powered by the platform. Uh, our month over month growth rate is about 35%. So the amount of data that is now inside of Hightower is growing very, very quickly. And we're starting to see really interesting trends. Um, we're also starting to see some interesting trends with the industry as it grapples with kind of a few of what I would consider kind of major issues or major questions. Um, and, and really kind of the three key change agents that we see affecting our customers are topics around big data and what does it mean to our business, um, how do we handle it, and then how do we get, take advantage of it. Uh, the second is mobility and the industry being fundamentally mobile. Um, how, do we, how do we take advantage of that? And then finally, it's really around building user-centered applications that people can actually get their jobs done with, uh, creating a user experience that is, that is easy and actually gets people to use the technology that they're building. Um, so why don't you hit next? Are you going to control? Okay, go ahead. Uh, we can skip this one. It's my background. So, so Hightower today has seen a lot of growth. Um, we got over 90 landlords, 1,200 users, 550 assets. 
35% monthly growth rate. So we've got it, we're seeing a lot of things um, as a result of this growth. And if you hit the next slide, I will take a look at kind of what we're doing. This is kind of the history of commercial real estate technology. So what I find fascinating is when you think about the vintage of the technology powering our industry today, just in terms of when these companies were founded, uh, it's fairly telling. So, you know, this is really kind of the old guard of the core uh, technology providers in our industry, MRI, Yardi, Argus, CoStar, very kind of fundamental technology platforms that the industry uses today to power uh, much of its business. Uh, you hit next. You can see the vintage of that. I mean, many of those are actually, you know, they were companies that were founded uh, years before I was born. Um, there's been a very long gap in kind of in, I, what I would consider kind of fundamental innovation in this space, uh, much of it for very good reasons. And now, you know, fast forward 20 to 25 years, we've got the, uh, we've, we've got a platform of technologies at our, at our fingertips that we believe to be transformative and are now really starting to kind of infiltrate their way into the commercial real estate industry. So we hit that. Um, what's fascinating, and those of you in the profession get this, is there's, we've got these platform technologies that exist, uh, you know, the co-stars, the MRIs, the Yardies, but most of our business is actually done out of an Excel spreadsheet, uh, which is kind of ironic that Hightower is now kind of on a mission to kill Excel spreadsheets, given that I was, uh, I was a designer of Excel. I've got a fundamental love for Excel, the spreadsheet application, but it's time for us to build purpose-built platform tools that really work. Uh, and really help us kind of support the day-to-day day -day work that we do. Um, so those three topics that, that I mentioned, big data, user-centered design, and mobility. Um, hit next. And, uh, so big data, really, what does it mean? I think this is, this is when we walk into the CIO's office of a major institutional landlord, they're grappling with what big data really means to their business. Um, if you take a step back and really think about the commercial real estate industry holistically, we're an industry that is absolutely built on top of data. Uh, we are a data-driven industry from financials to demographics uh, uh, to trend lines in terms of marketing and CRM, uh, but we're an industry without a fundamental data platform. So the big data kind of keys to, you know, keys to big data are volume, velocity, and variety. Uh, but if you hit the next slide, the, the things that really matter to our customers, would you mind going to the next slide? Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is what really matters to our customers, is the ability to aggregate and structure their information uh, to gain insights to really drive business decisions. So that's kind of where Hightower's really been focused. Um, and the results early on have been pretty interesting. So if you hit the next slide, this is actually the number of just monthly data points that are being captured by the Hightower platform. The reason this is really cool is if you think about commercial real estate, 12 billion square feet of office space in the US, 17 billion square feet of retail, 27 billion square feet of industrial, it is each of those buildings is a, is a generator of data. So every day, day in, day out, when we're doing leasing, it's creating proposal terms, tenants that are looking at that space, my available inventory. Uh, and one of the fundamental, I guess, one of the fundamental impediments for our industry really to move forward is that the vast majority of that information goes into static documents that are almost impossible to aggregate at scale. Leasing activity reports, comp sheets, tenants in the market, my PDF showing my available spaces. Well, Hightower is a platform, commercial leasing platform that supports that workflow and now, as a result of supporting that workflow, captures and structures all of that information. So this is a, you know, from January through September, this is the number of, of structured data points that are going into Hightower. It's growing at a much faster rate than the percentage of buildings on Hightower because people are really starting to be more active on it. Uh, why this gets us really excited is we're, we're really fired up about helping our customers structure and aggregate their data so they can do that analysis, which drives better business decisions. And the whole start is workflow. Uh, if you hit the next slide, it'd be great. So, so what, is, what does all this data in a structured environment do for us? Well, it lets us look at new metrics, right? So commercial real estate is just at the beginning, I think, of its life cycle and thinking about what its key performance indicators are. So every other industry that we think of understands like the age of its inventory, deal velocity, what's their conversion rate from each stage in the deal process. I was a leasing agent at CBRE for seven years. We did great work for great clients. None of us knew the answers to those questions. And we're in the business of moving space. We're in the business of creating value through leasing. Uh, so we just pulled some data um, that we have. So just in New York right now, we, I can tell you that it takes on average 106 days for a deal to get closed in Manhattan. What I could tell you further is that within each of those stages, exactly how many days it takes to, to, to get from prospect to touring, touring to trading proposals, and, and so on. 
It's all very granular. Um, that we, I can tell you that we've got a 14% conversion rate from touring to executed leases. What's really interesting about that is when you start benchmarking. Well, if that's the average in New York, I, the owner in New York, I want to figure out how I benchmark against those numbers. This is all possible when we structure and aggregate this data and then wrap it in some really good tools for understanding it. You know, average size of deals, percentage of deals completed by a certain industry. These are all just examples of data that now kind of lives in a very nice environment for us to start figuring stuff out. And the thing about commercial real estate that I find fascinating is when you think about the tool set that we have on our day-to-day -day basis, it's kind of a dumb tool set. Uh, we're using very basic tools. Primarily, we kind of like, we revert to the mean of Excel, uh, but very, very smart people in this industry uh, that are absolutely data thirsty or data starved. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun to see this really kind of coming true and, and the power that it unlocks. If you hit the next slide. So uh, the next really important thing is user-centered design. And all this really means is build tools that people love to use. So treat the, this is kind of our philosophy at Hightower, and those of you in the technology space here uh, will resonate. We're trying to bring a consumer approach to the design of enterprise technology. And we find that when we do, magic happens. Because it turns out all of you guys who raise your hands as being commercial real estate professionals, you're all consumers. We all have you know, smartphones probably. We all have our favorite iPad app. We all really hate software that sucks. And most of us are subjected to a lot of software that sucks in the industry. Uh, so it's this, it's this kind of topic that's really core to us, which is build consumer software for the enterprise. Um, so I'm showing you some screenshots. Over here on the right is, is, um, is me entering a tour um, on a given space. You can see there's some tour notes. We've structured the suites that are toured, the tour date, you hit save, it takes a couple of seconds. Well, what's happening on the, on the back end is that we're capturing the information about which suite was toured, when it was toured. So we can start building new charts, showing you, hey, which of your thousand suites, Bornado or Beacon Capital, or whoever these large owners are, are actually getting toured or not? Which ones are being marketed? What do we need to do about it? Uh, you hit the next slide, I'll show you another example. Um, we believe that commercial real estate is really beautiful. Um, and it is architecturally, but it also actually is in software. So the stacking plan is like the, one of my favorite tools when I was a broker. Um, and, and kind of one of the cores to user-centered design here is bring that stacking plan to life. Because the stacking plan in our mind is kind of a canvas for wonderful data. Um, that canvas could, could show me lease expirations. That canvas could show me encumbrances. That canvas could show me mark to market. Uh, risk or opportunity. So we've built this, we just launched this about a week ago. Um, it's the live stacking plan, which is the canvas for, for your commercial real estate. We can layer all sorts of really cool stuff on it. And what's been cool about it is that people really react to it like consumers. They say, that looks really neat, that's beautiful. I wanna use that. Um, you hit the next slide. Um, you know, this is kind of just a final point and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of move on, but it's, it's, it's really about kind of real estate being very spatial too. So pulling and mapping, uh, pulling in graphs and charting and visualizations has made, is kind of like allowed us to solve the garbage in, garbage out problem, which is kind of the fundamental challenge in going from a wildly unstructured world where most of our data lives in Excel spreadsheets to a much more structured world uh, where it's in systems actually makes sense. It's the barrier, the friction point is inertia. People used to doing the same thing they've done for the last 25 years and then friction in using the new tool. So if you make the new tool 10x better, 10x easier to use, you're in pretty good shape. You get the last one. Um, so we're really interested in new metrics. So one of the things that we, we, we are kind of, like, we've got a kind of a labs component to Hightower. We're always thinking about, okay, we've got a lot of data. What are the new metrics that will really drive decisions? What you're seeing here is a two charts. You're seeing tour activity trended from kind of week over week tour activity for a single asset, and then overlaid on top is the availability rate in my building. Hopefully those two are inversely proportional. Um, and then conversion analysis. So where are we converting or not converting deals along the spectrum of prospect to executed lease? Really fascinating because I, for the life of me, being a very analytical guy back in brokerage, could not calculate this at scale. It just takes too much time. Uh, it's very easy for us to do in Hightower because we're tracking all this stuff for you automatically. Um, next slide. So finally, I'll kind of end with mobility. So um, I think it goes without saying to commercial real estate brokers, how many brokers are in the room? Any? Okay, we get a handful. I, the, yell at me if you disagree, but I think commercial real estate is a deeply mobile industry, as I see the guys in the back on their mobile devices. Um, 
we want to run our businesses off our mobile phone because our business is out in the four walls of the listings that we have in the cities we work in. Um, and that's really an aspiration of Hightower. Uh, so I think that mobility is going to fundamentally change how we get this data into a structured form because it makes you wildly more productive when you're in there. Um, so if we skip to the next slide, I think, I think the next slide's the last one. So just a couple of thoughts. Uh, yeah, I didn't have much time, just 10 minutes. But a um, uh, couple of thoughts on, on what we're seeing now. So if, if Hightower continues its trajectory, we're really starting to capture a significant amount of data in the marketplace on behalf of our customers. Uh, we're seeing other great technology firms really make progress, CompStack, uh, we've got Pivot Desk in the room. We get we get kind of a growing a growing uh, set of technology firms really actually making a dent here. Uh, I believe there's a few things that we're going to see in the not too distant future. Um, I believe that you will have your business on your mobile phone. As a commercial real estate owner, owning 61 million square feet across the United States and the world, you'll be able to access every single data point that you care about on your mobile device, from a single proposal comp all the way up to portfolio analytics. Um, I believe that you're also going to be able to search the industries inventory um, from that same mobile device without having to pay 500 bucks a seat to do it. Um, I believe you should be able to do that. And I think the way that we're going to get there is a little bit less obvious than most people think, uh, but we're going to get there. Um, and then finally, I think you're going to start to see much more real-time valuation of assets, right? So imagine a ticker symbol for your building uh, where you know the real-time value of that asset. It's not a monthly um, assessment or appraisal. It's happening in real time and it's based on the data that is flowing through not only your buildings but in the market around you. Um, and I believe those things are going to happen and they're going to happen in the not too distant future. And I think that that is going to fundamentally change the way we do business. I think it's going to increase leasing velocity, somewhat increase liquidity, um, and make the industry a heck of a lot more fun to work in by reducing the brain damage. Um, so anyway, those are, those are a few thoughts. Um, happy to take questions or uh, hand it off to, to Mr. Finn who's, who's going to provide you with much, much more interesting thoughts. Uh, yeah. Guys, you made a great point about the underlying data structure being really kind of critical to getting these systems to work. Do you think yeah. that I work in retail technology and it's hopeless there, but in, in office, do you think it's possible to create a data, single data structure that's going to work for all these major companies? It's a good question. Um, I think, I think there's very much an 80 20 rule uh, where there's a lot of value that's captured, um, avoiding much of the complexity. The answer is I don't know. I mean, I'm very clear. Um, but uh, we're, we're, we've got enough critical mass across a broad spectrum of ownerships from small to large, from East Coast to West Coast. Uh, so far, things are holding together pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that's a good question. So, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Fantastic.